Duff Abrams was an American researcher in the area of organization and properties of concrete. He was responsible for coming up with the necessary methods for testing concrete characteristics that we still use. President of the American Concrete Association for a year, he discovered the concept of finest modulus and definition of water cement ratio. Let's discuss finest modulus. Welcome to Construction Materials and Testing. In 1925, Duff Abrams introduced the concept of finest modulus for estimating the proportions of fine and coarse aggregates in concrete mixtures. The premise, aggregate of the same finest modulus will require the same quantity of water to produce a mix of the same consistency and give concrete of the same strength. Finest modulus represents the mean particle size of an aggregate sample and is used to help determine proportions for concrete mix design. It also helps to characterize concrete aggregates based on their fineness, making it easier to estimate mixed design proportions. If two aggregate samples fall under the same modulus, they will require the same amount of water to produce a mix of the same consistency and concrete of the same strength. Finest modulus is calculated as the summation of the cumulative percent retained divided by 100. Finest modulus is helpful in the following ways. First, it tells directly the gradation of particles, well-graded, cup-graded, rich-graded, and so on. Second, finest modulus gives an overall idea whether the material is fine or coarse. The higher the value of finest modulus, the coarser will be the aggregate, otherwise the aggregate is finer. Thirdly, it also indicates the surface area of the particles taken as its reciprocal. The lower the surface area of the aggregate, the required amount of fresh cement paste to cover the aggregate particles will be less, and thus less water is required. The higher the finest modulus, the coarser the aggregate. Finest modulus of coarse aggregates varies from 5.5 to 8.0, and for all in aggregates or combined aggregates, finest modulus varies from 3.5 to 6.5. Range of finest modulus for aggregate of different maximum size aggregates is shown. Fine aggregate affects many concrete properties including workability and finishability. Usually a lower finest modulus results in more paste making concrete easier to finish. For the high cement contents used in the production of high-strength concrete, coarse sand with the finest modulus around 3.0 produces concrete with the best workability and highest compressive strength. Finest modulus of fine aggregate varies from 2.0 to 3.5. Fine aggregate having finest modulus more than 3.2 should not be considered as fine aggregate. How do we compute the finest modulus and what does it mean? Suppose we made a test with the following sieve sizes yielding the different weights. The cumulative weight retained is solved by copying the first weight retained for the first sieve size and then add the succeeding weight retained such as 0 plus 156 marking the second value. 156 plus 300 equals 456 written on the next slot and add 204 to give the value for the next slot giving us 660. The process continues until the last sieve size from the table. The last column containing cumulative percentage of weight retained considers the formula of cumulative weight retained divided by the total weight and multiplied by 100%. Finally, Take the total of the last column and divide it with 100. Thus, finest modulus for the sample table is taken as 3.03. But what does 3.03 mean? Writing down the test sieve sizes from the lowest test sieve or the smallest to the largest size and placing their order, we can see that 3.03 lies between the third and the fourth sizes, reflecting that the average particle size range of the sample is between 0.6 mm to 1.18 mm. How do we apply finest modulus in construction? 
As stated in the significance, finest modulus can be used to determine the design mix whereby the finest modulus of the fine aggregates are taken separately for the finest modulus fine. The same procedure is done for the coarse aggregates, and these values are considered as parameters required for the equation in solving proportions of aggregates. Lastly, do the same procedure to find the finest modulus for combined aggregates, the gravel and sand all together. After knowing all the values, plug them in the formula to determine the fine aggregate proportion. The percentage result will identify the proportion of sand. For example, if in the computation for x or the percent of sand is computed as 77%, it means that for every 100 kilograms of coarse aggregate, the required fine aggregate is 77 kilograms.